line now. So what do women really want? The war on women hasn't attracted women one side or the other. Instead, it's actually increased donations for women-friendly organizations. And here to explain is Noelle Nickpour, Republican fundraiser. And we also have Hadley Heath, senior policy analyst at Independent Women's Forum. Thanks to both of you for joining us. Um, Noelle, let me start with you, because I think this is really interesting. Rather than getting money to flow to one party or the other, women have sent their dollars towards women's organizations as all the chatter has begun. Is that true? Yeah, absolutely. Who's I'm benefiting? A I'm a national yeah. fundraiser, and what I've got to tell you, Melissa, is I've seen that neither candidate's really benefiting. It's the focus groups that are starting to benefit, which is really ironic. But what it is going to create is the female donor, because basically what I go to when I do this are a bunch of men. And now I think it's opening up another sector, and it should. Power to the purse. Open it up and get, and get involved with the candidates. We've seen uh, donations go up to groups like um, the Susan B. Anthony List, Emily's List. Um, and, and Susan B. Anthony List is actually a conservative group that has raised money um, in the wake of all of these things. And, and Hadley, you have, an, you have a theory, though, that this has to do with really distracting women from one of the biggest issues that's out there. Absolutely. If you pay attention to some of the polling out there, maybe these groups are raising money, but about 5% of women, according to a Kaiser Health tracking poll from May, say that these women's health issues or abortion are their number one issue. So largely 60% of women say they want to hear more about the economy and jobs. That's no surprise. That's going to be the main issue in this election. So you think this is, do you think it's, it's designed? It's like a plot that's trying to get their attention so they don't focus on that they don't have enough money to make, pay their monthly bills and they're more focused on, you know, women's issues? What, well, whatever those seen, would be. Yeah. Certainly. These, these groups like SBA List and Emily's List and Planned Parenthood, they focus on those social issues around the year and in every year and every election cycle. So this is nothing new on their part, but certainly the Obama campaign has made it a part of their mission to woo female voters by focusing on those hot button social issues. I, is this a clever scheme to get women not to focus on the fact that they can barely afford all their groceries and instead to worry about their reproductive <laughs> rights? Wow. Well, I'll tell you what, Melissa, what I have noticed first Hand. I yeah. actually got a call last week from someone from the Romney campaign saying, hey, Noel, do you know anyone in your state? I'm obviously with this accent from Arkansas. They asked me, can you recommend? <laughs> <laughs> well, wasn't totally honest, obvious to me, but anyway, go ahead. Yeah. They asked me to recommend a couple of ladies in my state that would get together and form women for Romney. So I think that a lot of this play in the media with the war on women, et cetera, yeah. has actually engaged a lot of the campaigns to think on, hey, Let's engage these women and take advantage of the issues that are going on and pull them towards our direction. Interesting. Hadley, at the end of the day, does it all come back to the economy? I mean, isn't that the biggest issue on people's minds right now is, is money and, and their pocketbook and paying their bills and taking care of their families? Exactly. Well, there's one issue, and that's how much money these groups have been raising in this year. It's, it's above average. They're doing very well in terms of donations and support. But there's another question, which is what is their impact? How much impact are they having with women? And only about one in three American women, according to some research by Independent Women's Voice, which is corroborated by Kaiser Research, only about one in three women believe that there is such thing as this war on women. Most women are much more concerned about their own families, their own pocketbooks, and certainly the economy at large, job creation, those are going to be the driving issues, not just behind the, the general vote, but behind the women's vote. All yeah. issues are women's issues, and to put women in this category where they only care about certain things, that's just wrong. Women yeah. care about a, a variety of issues, from tax and budgetary issues to our national debt. They're focused on, on the picture at large as well. Amen. All right. Thanks to both of you for joining us. We appreciate it.